Hi everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am in Disneyland Paris in Disney Village just outside the World of Disney shop which is the biggest shop here at Disneyland Paris so I thought we'd go inside it have a look at what's around here in January of 2022 and yeah let's go. If you're planning on visiting World of Disney, I would recommend doing so either in the morning, noon or afternoon time. Definitely not right after the park closes because that's when everybody is going to be visiting this shop. So if you go, you know, whilst the parks are still open, it's definitely not going to be as busy as it would be if you come right at the end of the day. So as you can see right now, it's about 2 p.m. on a Monday and really not busy at all. So as we come through to the shop, the first thing we see in front of us is the Paris range, which isn't new, it's been around for a long, long time. This is normally the area where they would kind of have themed stuff. So if it's Christmas time, they would have all the Christmas stuff here. If it's Halloween, they'll have mainly Halloween merchandise at the front. But at the moment, because it's no special season, they just have some Paris merch. This is quite cute though, look at this. Paris, je t'aime, and it's Minnie Mouse, the plush of Minnie. Uh, with the Eiffel Tower as a heart and a balloon and this in case you are wondering is 29.99 euros I also do like that jumper over there but I think it might be a kids one sadly I will totally wear it though here you can see some more generic Disneyland Paris merchandise here these little suitcases for kids are quite cute they also weirdly still sell um, you know autograph books here these are the ones where you can put autographs as well as photos in them sadly you know character meets have been modified since the pandemic hit in 2020 these are 20 12.99 euros by the way in case you're wondering but sadly it's not something that you will be able to use anytime soon in any of the disney parks worldwide as we keep going you've got the mini range over there the paris mini chic range which i really like i think it's very cool quite unique to disneyland paris as well i mean look at this this is a beautiful bag let's have a look at the price 39.99 euros not too bad actually for a really nice looking you know decent sized bag as well and the bow you know is just a little attachment here mini parisienne you also get those really huge bows as well which are fun they're very heavy though i've put them on my head before they look awesome but they can get a bit heavy on your head these are 23 euros by the way in case you want to see what they look like when worn on your head by the way this is it i think they look awesome they are huge i mean look at them <laughs> lord have mercy they've like added quite a lot to my height right now they are cool but they're not the most comfortable in the sense that like i said because they're quite heavy because they're quite big i feel like after a few maybe a few hours of wearing them you're going to want to have a break but that's the case with almost any mini ears right next to this range though we have the newest range here at disneyland paris which is the 30th anniversary range the pre 30th anniversary range as i like to call it because it's the 30 years of magic i love this really cool uh, clever logo they've got going on but underneath it says loading which i guess is because you know we're in january right now there's still a couple of months left until the anniversary hits full time in the parks but it's a bit of a confusing thing to have on a spirit jersey um they do have quite a lot of them left actually i might actually get myself one because i do love the color of them and i love the logo as well the loading bit annoys me a little bit but I, th I think i can deal with that i normally go for a size large with spirit jerseys and they do seem to have quite a lot of larges left so there you go that's the front again i love the color so much and the back is so nice disneyland paris and they do still have the 30 slash mickey uh, shaped logo next to it as well right this is coming with me for sure by the way 65 euros for the new 30th anniversary spirit jerseys in case you're wondering which i don't think is too bad they do also sell the t-shirts these are the kids ones uh, with the same logo same design it does say new here as well i like it i actually don't even mind the loading bit too much it's a little bit annoying for like after the 30th so like it makes sense right now when we're before the 30th anniversary i don't know how much it would make sense once the 30th actually comes but i still love it, it doesn't like put me off buying it at all um and they have the t-shirts for adults as well again the exact same logo let's see if there's anything behind it nope and these are 23 euros in case you're wondering very nice i love the design i love our castle i don't know why i said our castle but you know what i mean it's my home park it's my favorite park i love the castle and the 30th logo one there and i cannot wait for the 30th anniversary i'm genuinely really excited they don't seem to have anything else that's new from the 30th anniversary in world of disney at least but uh, i love the middle section of world of disney so much look at it with the balloon and the music they play here so cool right they still seem to be selling some of the halloween kind of merchandise from the villain section there you go fabulously villainous pretty cool 
so good at being bad and there's a big photo of uh, Hades in front of it I do like these ears over here these are ears that I very rarely see and I've only ever seen them in Disneyland Paris I'm not sure if they sell them in other Disney parks as well but these are basically Mickey ears but with little pom-poms instead of actual ears so they'll probably be a bit more comfortable and cuter and a bit more unique these are 13.99 euros they're also cheaper than regular ears and it does say Disneyland Paris on them so they must be exclusive to Disneyland Paris they're selling them right next to the Nightmare Before Christmas section they also sell these mini ears which are also incredibly nice oh I like this hat though I'm a big beanie lover and I've never seen this before this is just a regular black uh, Disneyland Paris uh, beanie it does have the Disneyland Paris logo at the front which is nice uh, it says interchangeable oh I, I see I guess you can change the top bit the pom-pom now I'm actually not the biggest fan of the pom-pom at all I wish it didn't have the pom-pom but if you can take it off and just not have that which I think you probably can I would totally wear just a beanie on its own anyway let's keep wandering around the shop something that you ask me quite often is whether or not they sell spirit jerseys and which spirit jerseys they sell in which shops here at Disneyland Paris so I'm gonna have a look and see what other spirit jerseys they sell here at the moment at the world of Disney so I've just found two spirit jerseys here this black one is the original spirit jersey here at Disneyland Paris it's the very first one that they started selling here and they still sell it I do own it I bought it you know back in 2018 or 19 when it was first released 59.99 euros it's a classic you know it's got the Disneyland Paris logo in the back and they do sell them this one at the moment here at uh, Disneyland Paris this is a bit newer I feel like this might be for Disney World's 50th anniversary I'm not quite sure but it does say Disneyland Paris on the back which is nice I actually really like um, the kind of shiny material they've used for it the iridescence if you like but I'm not the biggest fan of the part down below with all the sequins it's also it feels a lot heavier this one um, than the black one on the other side because I think the material is definitely a lot thicker than a regular standard spirit jersey but I mean it looks cute I feel like these sold out really quickly on shop Disney they were selling them over there uh, 75 euros though which isn't actually too bad I feel like it was definitely more expensive online they do also sell these generic best day ever t-shirts here with the Disneyland Paris logo under them as well I'm not personally the biggest fan of the best day ever saying I just it's just overused in my opinion and I don't think every day can be the best day ever I mean best literally means what like the best so if you're having the best day ever today can tomorrow also be the best day ever I'm not quite sure but they are they are nice and I know a lot of people are fans of them these are 20 euros in case you're wondering I do like the logo I just don't like the saying right next so these over here I've just spotted a Disneyland Paris coat which is nice over here oh it's like a raincoat so it's very thin but it does have a cute Mickey here as a logo next to the castle and then on one of the sleeves over here it says Disneyland Paris Disneyland Paris there you go <laughs> very nice let's see if there's anything on the back nope nothing on the back definitely something that is quite useful actually for Disneyland Paris 49.99 euros it does you know tend to rain quite a bit in France I will never quite understand the point of these very adorable sleeping plushes I mean I guess it's to sleep with but the fact that they're constantly asleep I mean look at them they're adorable now nah, jokes aside I feel like they're actually really adorable very very cute and I wouldn't mind having one I don't want to spend money on it but 49.99 euros they are pretty expensive but look at their faces even though they're constantly asleep it just looks so sweet look at the Dumbo one over here so adorable if I ever have a child and they are still selling these in Disneyland Paris I'm definitely gonna buy them one also oh, the music that they play here at World of Disney just always gets me they were just playing um, the last bit of dreams dreams the Disney show nighttime Disney show that they haven't played since 2017 sadly and that I constantly miss they have this lovely grumpy jumper here quite thick this is 49.99 euros so basically for 50 euros you can either get yourself a grumpy hoodie or one of those cute plushies over there <laughs> I mean you choose down below they are selling these Disneyland Paris caps which I'm gonna quickly try because I do love a nice cap not too bad but I do generally tend to prefer the ones that are a bit more like snapbacks I think you call rather than the ones that have this little moment here also they're playing Aladdin oh 
I could spend the whole day in Walt of Disney just listening to the songs they play. Anyway, let's keep going. Over here they are selling some boxes, Disney boxes, the perfect man. Well, Goofy to me is the perfect man, to be fair. They also have a Donald one down below and I want to say a Grumpy one over here. They really tend to love Grumpy here in Disneyland Paris. That mini onesie over there looks very nice. Let's have a closer look at it and the price. So €34.99, which isn't too bad. Um, it does obviously have the mini head as the hood. These are for kids by the way, so this is for a 10 year old, 12 year old, um, do you have any other? There's, there's a 4 year old one over there, so I wish they did them for adults as well, but I know that they do also sell these elsewhere for adults. I don't know if it's necessarily in Disneyland, but I've definitely seen them either online or just somewhere else. In terms of pins, this is the selection at the World of Disney right now. I quite like this one here. Uh, Cowboy Mickey, that's a new one I hadn't seen before. And then they've got a Jesse one up here. They also have the new 2022 range over here. So let me just pick one up for you. This is just one of them with four of the characters. Not Fab Five quite, but four of them. It's a Fab Four, I want to say. But yeah, the 2022 range has arrived already, which is cool. You can get this one as well. This is probably my favorite, actually. I like that they've started doing these in Disneyland Paris, the kind of medallion looking ones. They're quite nice. And here are a couple of other options. There's Mickey. Uh, Fantasia Mickey 2022 and the castle. There's a Mickey one over here as well with the 2022 logo. And then I think my favorite, actually, my absolute favorite is probably gonna be this one over here. They had them at the top, so Chip and Dale, two of my absolute favorite characters looking cheeky right in front of the castle. Very, very cute. These are yellow, by the way, so I'll have to have a look to see what the prices are. Yellow is 11 euros, as you can see over there. There's also a Donald one that I thought I would show you as well for all the Donald fans out there. There's a little mermaid range going on here with, with Sebastian looking really happy. And then, uh, yeah, I've got Flounder here. Oh, that Cinderella pin's quite cute. I've never seen that one before. And we've even got what I believe is an Encanto pin. That is cute. Love that. Look at that mug over there. The Simba one I've definitely seen before. But look at this one. Who is he even meant to be? Is this meant to be like the owl from... Is it Fox and the Hound? Is it an owl from Snow White? I do not know. I feel quite ignorant right now. So please let me know what you think this character is. Apparently it's the owl from Sleeping Beauty. So as I was, I was you know, doing the filming the little clip before, um, a lovely guest that was near me heard me. And she was like, I think it's the owl from Sleeping Beauty. So I've got my answer. Shout out to that lovely, lovely guest as well. Let me know if you agree. Is it the owl from Sleeping Beauty? I think she's probably right. It is the owl from Sleeping Beauty. For all you Loungefly fans, I haven't actually spotted a lot of Loungefly bags in the shop on this visit but they do have this one this is a Maleficent one so if you're a fan of Maleficent there are plenty to choose from in World of Disney these figurines are really cute as well they've got a range of them different characters there's Tinkerbell Anna and Elsa Elsa on her own shout out to my friend Sophie she loves Elsa I actually own that one this is Olaf sitting on loads of books I got it I think last year or maybe 2020 and then there's some uh, Beauty and the Beast ones over here as well quite at the top uh, there's Beast and Belle that's a nice one this rose one is quite cute as well down there they've got Pocahontas and Mushu and uh, Mary Poppins that's a cute one some of the other princesses as well over here there's uh, Snow White Merida um, Jasmine and then Ariel Sleeping Beauty or Aurora and Cinderella over here as well as of course Moana I feel like these figurines are normally quite reasonably priced as well so you're looking at about between 15 euros and 25 euros depending on if you're going for a figurine that is only one character or if one of the ones that have two of them so the Bell and Beauty one the Bell and Beauty the Beast and Bell one would probably be a bit more expensive so maybe more close to like 20 euros 25 euros but then the smaller ones like the Olaf one was 14 99 euros so not bad at all in my opinion this section here is mainly dedicated to kids and kids outfits so I'm just going to quickly show some of them to you because obviously whilst I don't have kids I know a lot of you that watch these videos do have kids um, they have a nice selection to be fair some generic ones again like this mini one with the Disneyland Paris logo um, some cute ones like this one this is nice I feel like kids would love this I mean I love this and I'm an adult you know the ones where you can just change the design this is such a cute little t-shirt I love it they have an Elsa range here or a frozen range of course this is 17.99 euros and this is a beautiful top look at Elsa's dress so nice and sparkly oh I love this 
and then over here. Oh my god, I've never seen this before. And this is really cool. Some of the princesses, so we've got Anna, Elsa, and um, uh, what's her name? Rapunzel from Tangled by uh, our lovely, beautiful castle. And it says, hashtag selfie Disneyland Paris. This is cute. I definitely approve. Here are some more kids' outfits here, some hoodies over here. They do sell the same design for adults as well. So if you want to match with your child, you definitely can. Again, this one is for kids, but you can get the same design. For adults, there's a Buzz Lightyear hoodie over here, a Cars one here, 15 99 euros for this one. And then, ooh, I like these t-shirts a lot. They look really cool. This one over here is 22 99 euros. But look at it. I love how they've like, you can't really necessarily see Mickey, but you can at the same time. So it's not too out there. I feel like this is cool. I feel like if I was maybe like a teenager, I would want to wear this. And as you can see, the sizes for these ones are a little bit bigger. So if you're in your early teens, I would go for that. But there you go, you also have different colors of them. There's a, a red one over here, 17 99 euros. Printed front and back, it says over here. Let's have a quick look. What does it say on the back? Ah, I see. So on the back, they've got Disneyland Paris um, with the colors of both the American flag and the French flag. So I can kind of deal with this, even though I don't normally love it when they put the American flag everywhere on Disneyland Paris merch. This is the Nuimo section, which I am so glad that I've managed to <laughs> avoid so far because I love collecting things. And I know that if I were to buy even one of these, I would then want to buy all of them. And they can become very expensive because you can even get outfits for them. They're very cute. This is a big thing in Japan and they brought it over to the West from Japan. The idea of Nuimos. And sometimes I see people with them in the parks and I love it. It's cute. It's very creative, the things you can do with them. I mean, look at this. There's Angel and Minnie just chilling over here. Oh, it's adorable. I actually follow quite a lot of accounts on Instagram that post pictures of Nuimos. So that's how I get my fix of them without having to actually buy one myself. And you can see more over here as well. These are some Stitch ones because they obviously absolutely love Stitch over here in Paris. There's Angel down there. There's some of the Winnie the Pooh characters. They are now playing the Nutcracker, which is another music that I love. And then over here, they've got another design. Donald, Mickey and Daisy just chilling, and Stitch is over there as well. Cute. Please let me know down in the comments below if you own a new emo yourself and what you think of them generally if you don't have one. Right, we are now approaching the section that is traditionally known as the girl section, but I hate calling it that because anyone can wear a dress, anyone can play with dolls if they wish to. I know that my brother loved playing with my dolls when, when we were younger, so it shouldn't really be at the girly section. But they've put all the dolls here, the Disney dolls. These are the plushes. This is Princess Anna. Um, let's have a look at the prices for these. 29.99 euros, so quite expensive, especially if you want more than one. But they are cute. Anna actually has three different looks, I've just noticed. Over there, in the middle, and then like the traditional Anna as well. Go Anna, she's doing really well for herself. Let's see what we've got here. Again, some of the animators dolls, I believe. They're very cute. I really enjoy them. In fact, my friend Arizu actually collects some of these as well. Not these ones here, but she likes the animated dolls a lot, the way they design them. And I agree, they can be adorable. These are some of the dresses, princess dresses that you can buy here. They are quite expensive. Uh, 69.99 euros for this beautiful Snow White one. And I mean, it is lovely. The design on them is amazing. The details on them, there's embroidery going on on the dress. It's a beautiful dress, but I'm not sure I would pay that much for it, even if I had a child. I don't know, would you? Let me know in the comments. The Cinderella one looks gorgeous as well. It's probably gonna be a similar price. Yeah, 69.99 euros. But I personally prefer the Cinderella dress because I just love the colors of it. The blues, the silvers, oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my God. And then the detail here as well, you've got Cinderella's glass slipper in the middle. This is for four-year-olds, by the way, this particular one over here. But again, quite expensive, just really pretty to look at. Obviously, people can spend their money however they want. And if you have 70 euros and you really want to spend it on one of these beautiful dresses for your kids, absolutely go for it. But I would recommend looking online to buy a princess dress. So there are so many other ways where you can get princess dresses. Maybe not as detailed or as pretty as these ones, but close enough and for a lot cheaper price as well. So I personally think if you don't want to spend this much money for a princess dress and you have a child who really wants one of these dresses, don't worry, there are other ways that you can get them cheaper and I'm sure they will still look nice and your kids will still be happy. Speaking of dresses, there's another dress over here for Mirabelle from the new Disney film Encanto. They also have a huge whole section dedicated to Encanto over here. So these are the Mirabelle dolls that you can get. Oh, she sings as well, it says over here. 
Shall we press her? I hope you can hear it. It's basically her main song. Anyway, they are still selling the Encanto lounge flies as well, which is nice. I actually really like these. Very, very colorful and on the back it says Encanto, which is cute. Uh, 80 euros, by the way, quite expensive. They also sell another version of Mirabelle over here. So these are like the plush dolls, very cute, as well as Antonio, which is awesome. Antonio, if you haven't seen the film, is a pretty um, iconic character in the film. Uh, basically, he's Mirabelle's cousin, and that's what I'm gonna say because I don't wanna spoil anything. They still have a Raya and the Last Dragon section over here as well. They sell some dolls, some little tiny dolls, and then the dragon over here as well. Cece, I believe her name was. I can't remember, actually. I saw this so long ago, and I've only watched this once. Please let me know what you think of Raya and the Last Dragon because I feel like not a lot of Disney fans have actually watched it. It came out at such a random and awkward time. I think it was back in March, and a lot of countries worldwide were still under lockdown. In the UK, we were in lockdown still. So I think a lot of people either just didn't bother watching it or maybe forgot about it. I quite liked it though, even though I've only watched it once and I clearly don't remember the names of all the characters very well. I thought it was a pretty good film. Here in the middle section of World of Disney, they sell a lot of kitchenware, so you can see them here. Some aprons here with Mickey's kind of pants on them. Very cute. And then over here, there's some cups and mugs, etc. These are like plastic cups, mainly for kids, I want to say. This is a Buzz Lightyear one, really nice. Some more plates and mugs and cups over here. And then Pluto is just chilling over there. Very, very cute. Let's have a look at what's available here. I love a nice Disney mug, and I know a lot of you do as well. So these definitely aren't new. I first spotted these back in June of 2021, but I do love them, and I've still not bought them. I probably won't now either, because I'm trying to be good. But look how cute this is. This is a Fantasia Mickey mug. You've got the broomstick as its handle on the back. It does say Disneyland Paris, and it is. Oh, let's have a look. 17 euros. Oh, I love it. I don't know how I've managed to not buy it yet. But it's probably because I'm very aware that I've got way too many mugs, so I just don't need any more. They are adorable, though. This one over here. Same kind of idea, Disneyland Paris, but this time you've got Mickey's hand as the handle. This is a nice classic mug, too. Also, they have just recently restocked the water bottles, the classic water bottles with the Disneyland Paris logo on them. They sell them in two colors. One of them is this black one. It's really nice, actually. A good size as well, in my opinion. And it literally just says Disneyland Paris on it. These are 20 euros each, and they also have a rose gold one. Um, which I definitely prefer the black one personally, but I know rose gold is quite a popular color worldwide Also over here you can get Mickey shaped ice cubes if you buy one of these things uh, Ice cube tray they're called Very cool. These are quite huge Would you need an ice cube this big? I don't know. I'm not sure But I feel like there's so much more you can do with these as well You can make like mini mini chocolates if you want You can just fill this up with melted chocolate and then turn them into a little Mickey chocolate uh yeah chocolate heads and then the tiny ones also have mini on them right i feel like we've more or less done a journey throughout the whole shop i think there's only one last section left to go through so let's go there now and there we have it the final section of world of disney is basically dedicated to little things such as magnets so actually really good for like small souvenirs if that's what you're looking for this is disneyland paris one this is 4.99 euros they have a selection of other magnets here as well i quite like this one over here and then different ones down there as well. You can also get one of these frame ones so you can actually have a photo of you in it as well if you wish to. They also sell some postcards here for different lands in Disneyland Paris as well. So of course we've got Adventureland over here. Um, there's a Tinkerbell one, quite nice. And then, oh, this is a CD, Lost in the Magic. So basically it's the soundtrack to the parade at the moment. Stars on Parade and you can buy it for 5.99 euros or you know you can just download it. Disney pens are a big thing um, and there's quite a big selection over here. You've got these autograph ones that again are not really necessary right now. You've got a Captain America one for all you Marvel fans out there. That's quite cool. There's Iron Man as well. Oh, sorry, let me put this back in. There you go. This is an Iron Man one. And then Stitch, of course, has to make an appearance everywhere in every shape here in Disneyland Paris. This is quite cute, actually. They are also selling this puzzle. It's a thousand piece puzzle, generic one, but quite cute. And then some more pens here. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, this is a Simba one. Very nice. This is 3.99 euros, by the way, in case you're wondering of the price. This is an Elsa one, quite nice. I want to say this is going to be Jasmine. Oh, no, 
I thought because of the colour it would be jasmine, but no, it's pure from uh, Moana. And then some more fun looking ones, like the Mickey shaped ones over here. These are actually pencils, but you can get a Pluto pen, which is fun. I used to collect these once upon a time, but I'm trying to not be as much of a hoarder as I used to be. 5.99 euros for this one. And you can also get these really fun looking ones like Elsa, her head's just there, the Anna. And then let's have a look at these ones. This is a Simba one, and I think you can spin it. Maybe it like spins, oh, I see. There's this little thing on the back where you can, basically, I can't do it with one hand, but there you go. I'm, I'm doing it. Oh, I didn't expect to be able to do it with one hand. But that's definitely a really, really fun pen. But it's 8.99 euros, so pretty expensive. Let's put this back. The Lion King, even all these years later, is still a very popular and well-loved film amongst Disney fans. So they have a whole section dedicated to it. In fact, they also have a Lion King festival here at Disneyland Paris uh, that is hopefully, well, might return at some point, but the last time it was here was 2019, of course, before the pandemic. Here's another spirit jersey for all you spirit jersey fans out there. It's a Lion King one, but it is in French, so it does say Le Roi Lion instead of the Lion King, 60 euros. And on the back, it says Disneyland Paris uh, in this really, really nice color, red color, red kind of orangey color. And then another character that people love a lot here in Paris, of course, is Stitch. So Stitch has his own section as well. It's not even like the Lilo and Stitch section, it's literally the Stitch section. So you can see loads of different Stitch plushes. There's a Christmas one over here. I don't understand what this is. What is this? Like a oh, it's meant to be a pencil case. Cool. A stitched pencil case. Stitch candy floss over there. More stitch stuff. More stitch stuff. Stitch pins. I want to say down there as well. You can kind of see them. Stitch buttons. And then over here is literally a full section of stitch plushes. And those ones over there are like really big ones, as you can see. I think they might be about 70 euros, maybe even 80 euros. They are huge. If Stitch isn't your favorite character though, don't worry, they do also have some other plushes, like the ones behind me over here. There's Pinocchio, which is cute, quite rare actually. Even Figaro up there, you can get him as a plush. Dumper over here, let's have a look at the price. 30 euros for this really, really soft and fluffy dumper. And they even have Uncle Scrooge, or Scrooge McDuck, as I like to call him, over here. Also, these are some ears that are, I think, quite unique to Disneyland Paris. These are the Marie ones. And uh, look at the paw prints over here on one side, and then Disneyland Paris on the other side. These are adorable. And they also have uh, the same kind of ears. But for Simba, this time round, again, it says Disneyland Paris. So there's Disneyland Paris exclusives, I want to say. And you can turn into one of your favorite cats. Oh, and they also still sell these hats. These hats are very, very stereotypical to Disneyland Paris. I've seen them ever since I've been coming to Disneyland Paris. They've changed designs a little bit, but I, I love them. And people actually wear them. So this is 24.99 euros. This is a mini hat. And then that one down there is a really fun one. It's goofy. I've always wanted to buy this, but I just know that I won't really make use of it unless I'm in the park. So I haven't bought them, but very cool, right? But that is basically it. We've made a full round of the shop. We've looked at anything that caught my eye or in some cases things that I knew you would be interested in having a look at. I just wanted to quickly show you this as well because this is something that I've never seen before. This is uh, Paris is Magical. That's the range is from 59.99 euros and it's a hoodie. Nice quality hoodie as well. Um, it's got a zip as well. I know a lot of people prefer hoodies with zips. Quite expensive but I guess the material maybe is why it's that expensive. Does it have anything on the back? Oh, okay, this is Tinkerbell. Maybe I have actually seen this one before. It's just not something I've seen often. So I thought I would point this one out as well in case you care. But that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was that I showed you on this tour. Also, let me know if you've seen mine and the last dragon. And let me know what your favorite spirit jersey was as well. I showed you quite a few here. And I'm particularly interested in your thoughts on the new 30th anniversary range they've got going on with the loading design under them. Do you like them or do you think they're a little bit naff? I personally don't think they're too bad. I mean, I'm planning on buying one myself. So yeah, feel free to leave any questions that you have as well in the comments down below. Any other thoughts that you want to share with me and subscribe for more videos like this. Follow me on Instagram as well if you want to and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.